Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm back with a reveal video for you. Um, reveal slash haul video. So I posted a picture yesterday on Instagram and showed you what I got. And many, many of you asked me to do a video on that or a comparison video. And I thought I'll do this today. So um, I am a bit in a rush, but I hope I can um, upload this video really as soon as possible. So the bag I want to reveal today is the Speedy 25 Bandoulière in Damier Ben by Louis Vuitton. And I got this one yesterday and I am super in love with this bag. I mean, I used it only today, but I, as you guys know, I have already a Speedy uh, 25 Bandoulière in Emprunt. And yeah, it's not, it's not really new to me the, from the size perspective, but it's um, anyway a different bag. So I'll just show you quickly um, some, some close-ups on the bag and then I would like to show you anyway modeling shots, show you how much fits inside and try to compare it with the Speedy 30 I have, which is the normal one, the classic without the bandoulier. I also have here the Speedy 25 Emprunt. Maybe I can show you um, a small comparison. And I even have the Trevi PM, which is a kind can be compared with the Speedy 30 or the Speedy 35. However, so let's get started with some close-ups on this bag. So as I mentioned before, this is the size 25 and is the bandoulier version. And it comes with two handles like the classic speedy to carry the bag by hand, you know, by elbow or by hand. And here's some close-ups, details. And here you see the uh, bandoulier, the strap and the hook here which says Louis Vuitton on both of the sides here, just engraved. There you go, on the other side it looks similar or looks the same and here on the bottom you, there is no feet on the bottom. The zipper pull is a bit different as the classic one. It comes with, with two zipper pull, as you see here, two. And the opening, of course the, the, mount, the mouth of the opening is not so big like the Speedy 30. And I'm even not sure if it's the if if it's the same like the Speedy 25 classic one, you know, not the bandoulier one. If the if the opening is a bit bigger, I really don't know. But however, so it looks like this, and here it comes with the strap. You know, the strap is uh, detachable and can also be adjusted. And you have three adjusting sides on both sides. You have one here, and then you have three adjustments on this side and you can you can uh, basically take the middle one out or off you can take it away and then um, uh, make it shorter you know and then you can carry the bag as a shoulder bag or with this strap as a crossbody bag just like this by shoulder like this or as I mentioned even by hand you know like this or so there you go guys, so I would say let's get started to fill in the back with some items um, to show you how much you can fill inside and I already want to mention that I am really in love with this bag it holds the essential, it holds enough for everyday use, the essentials uh, I'll show you um, later and I don't know, I mean it's we are all a bit addicted with the crossbody bags and especially with the Speedy 25, I mean we also um, you know, the video from Jerusha Couture with her Speedy 25 and Monogram. There is also um, um, Shanti, which has also the Speedy 25 bandoulier version in uh, Monogram. Then there are so many other YouTubers, they, they showed this back um, recently on YouTube and I have to say I've, I completely fell in love. I mean, I knew if I had to decide between the bandoulier and the 30 classic, I would go with the bandoulier, the 25, since I have the 30 also classic, so I don't need two classic. Um, that's why I decided to get the 25, the version bandoulier in 25. And BJ Taylor, just for you, you will see the this bag holds really a ton and you would love it. So I would say let's get started to fill in the back. I'll just put the camera down so you can um, 
see how I feel the back. There you go. Okay, I really hope you can see it. Let me adjust a bit the camera, so... Okay. Okay, there you go. So, um, it seems like it's a bit... Yeah. I guess it looks... Okay, sorry guys. So let's get started. Uh, let's get started. So the inside, as you can see, the, the, um, the mouth, how the opening is, it's, um, it's a bit limited, but you still um, have space to, to grab the stuff inside and take it out. And obviously you have here the D-ring, as you can see here. You know, here there is the D-ring to attach a pochette accessoire or a mini pochette. Here is the pocket, which comes in every Speedy, and is the similar pocket. So with it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, to start shortly with the dimensions, maybe some of you would like to know, but um, from here to here is 25 centimeters. That's why it is called 25, Speedy 25. So let's see on the bottom if I can, yeah, so the back is 25 centimeters, but here it looks like it is 25 and a half. Then the height of the back, let me, let me try to do it like this, you know. The height of the back is 19 centimeters, and here I guess it's the same, should be, oh no, here it's, it seems like it is, um, I would say 22 centimeters or even 23. And the opening of the back, let me see, the opening of the back is 22 and a half centimeters, oh, even a bit shorter, smaller. So it's 21 and a half centimeters, you know, the opening. And here you can stretch it a bit more and you could take 15 centimeters. There you go. So, okay, let's start to fill in the back. So as always, I have a cosmetic pochette um, in my bags and this one is uh, the PM size and also in Damia Ben and it's fully stuffed actually with, with my things inside as you can see. So here, let's put this one inside. There you go. Then I have my agenda and this is um, the functional agenda in the PM size, six ring, six ring in the PM size and used to be also in the Damia Ben. Let's put this one inside as well. I'm not sure if you can tell because, you know, there you go. Okay, so then in this case I actually used my mini pochette, my mini pochette as a wallet. And I have here inside, as you can see, I have tons of cards and and then here inside is even my um, clay pochette, which I use uh, to hold coins and cash. And I put this one here inside and then I have a kind of pochette in pochette. And here, I, uh, it, here inside the clay pochette I have my cash and my coins. And here on the back you see some bills and cards, you know, cash back vouchers and it holds a ton. So I use this one at the moment as a wallet and so let's put this one inside. You can even hook it you can even hook it um, to the to the D-ring which we have inside. Let me show you. There you go. So you can see here and enough space, still enough space to carry some uh, different things. I also want just to show you that a full size wallet like the Emily one would fit perfectly inside. You see there how it fits and you see also you know the space that is still left. Actually um, let me show you, maybe you can see it like this. You see there, 
there we still have um, some space left. There you go. And in, in this corner I will just put my hand cream, my prescription glasses, a um, toothbrush pouch and my umbrella. So let's do it. I have here my um, small pocket umbrella. Then I have here my prescri prescription glasses in this small and thin case. I have my toothbrush pouch in a violet full leather from La Riche. There you go, I have my hand cream and at the moment I'm using the one by Chanel. I'm not sure if you can tell, the light is pretty bright. There you go. Just want to show you. how this fits. You see here, everything is here. There you go. And I still have space to put a card holder. And here inside I have some cashback card holder. Card, I mean. And it fits here on the front. I'm not sure if you can see. There is the multicolor piece. And then of course I have my coin purse, the portmonero. And I use this one to store my headset, you know, mobile charger and so. And I put this one here on the side. Let me show you if you can tell. There. There you go. You see how it looks. Okay. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I am using my mini pochette as a wallet, so I actually do not need to, um, you know, put my um, Emily wallet inside. I'm just doing it for reference for you. But, yeah. Then here on the pocket, which already got some marks, I have to clean it. Um, in the pocket, I just put some of my Tic Tacs, you know, one here. And one there. And as you can see, and then of course I have my mobile phone and I just put this one on top. There you go guys. You see how much you can fit inside and actually it fits perfectly inside I, with no struggle and you are even, um, you are even not, I mean I can pull the things in and out. And since the back is uh, small and compact, everything is in place like... Um, like um, Mary Hansen, alias Captmara, um, also mentioned in her um, review, in her video uh, also about this um, bag. And actually she inspired me also to get the bag. I mean, I requested her to do a uh, what's in my bag or just uh, compare it with the Speedy 30 and I was completely done after this video. And yeah, so there you go. As you can see, fully stuffed and the bag is completely in shape. You don't, you don't need really a a base shaper, sorry guys, so you don't need a base shaper since when you have so many things inside it keeps in shape perfectly. So um, the zipper are also super smooth as you can see and I attached here on one of the zipper I attached my um, the lock. There you go guys. So, so I'll just give you some modeling shots now before I compare it with the Speedy 30. Hello. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. So, um, put a bit down. So there you go. This is the Speedy 25, as you can see. And here is the crossbody version on my body. And I am about 5'3", which is 161 centimeters. There you go. Here's some side shots. On the back, on the front, and as I mentioned, you have some adjustments. You, you have three adjustments on both sides. You can do it shorter or even a bit longer. I my I have mine in each in the middle of each, in the middle size of each side, or of each. Compact everything inside what I need here. 
some modeling shots as I shoulder back. I show you that you could carry the back also by hand. And it's a small bag, but I think it fits it fits anyway. And it's more used for it as a crossbody, I guess. There you go, by hand. And you can also detach the strap, you know, and use it as a shoulder bag like this. There you go, guys. So, and I also, what I would do, since I have the Trevi, I just want to show you. Um, the Trevi comes also with a detachable and a bit adjustable strap. And it's a shorter one. And actually, what I, what I um, will do when I want to carry this bag as a shoulder bag, I just attach this strap from the Trevi PM to my Speedy 25 bandoulier. And then I'll have my shoulder strap, which looks much more fancy, in my opinion, for, for, for those who have a Trevi as well. And I would use then this strap to carry the back as a shoulder back, you know. Perfect. There you go. And even if I am carrying it by hand, the, sh the strap is not so super long and it looks still stylish. There you go, guys. So let's continue with uh, the comparison of the Speedy um, 30. So, also, this is the size 25. And this is the size 30, and I'll just detach the strap again. So, there you go. And as you can see, as you can see the difference. So, the, the 31 is obviously, is obviously uh, much higher, for sure longer. You know, it's 30 centimeter, and this one is 25, so you can see. And here, also higher, the 30. Let me see how higher it is. Let me just try to... So this is 21 centimeters and a half, and this one is... 19 and a half. So it's just one centimeter um, taller, this one. The mount, the mount, you see it's much stretchable or flexible, bigger obviously, as this one. And you have much more space inside. I'll put these things which are here inside the 30 to show you that you um, obviously have more space. And as Minx for All also mentioned in one of her videos, um, I believe the, the comparison video between the Speedy 30 and the Speedy 35, and she mentioned that she liked the size 30 much more over the size 35 because her things inside the back in the 30 are in place, are you know compact and in place, and in the size 35 they get a bit lost, which is still beautiful, the bag, but yeah, you know. And I agree with that when I compare the size 25 to the 30. So in the 25, everything is more compact in place, you know, nothing is um, getting lost. And if I would now um, transfer the things inside of the 30, you see that, um, you'll see that uh, obviously you have more space, the things could go a bit wherever they want. So, um, here the um, cosmetic pochette and then here my agenda and then here the mini pochette which I use as a wallet at the moment and I'm super enjoying it and again you could attach the uh, mini pochette to the D-ring then here the Emily wallet just for reference you know 
and then I have here the um, umbrella, my prescription glasses, my um, toothbrush, the coin purse, my mobile phone, my hand cream, the card holder multicolor. Let me try to do it a bit more. I'll show you how many. You see, there is much more space left. There you go. And then my um, two Tic Tacs container. Let's put this one here. As you can see, fits perfectly inside and you have much more space left for many other things. So let's do some modeling shots, show you how both of them looks on me. Okay. Here again 25 and here the 30. There you go. And I seriously would use the 25 most of the time as a crossbody bag because of the shape or hand handle, hand hand to carry by hand instead as by elbow. You know, and this one looks also super chic anyway, size 30 is classic. But I prefer now the 25 in bandolier version over the 30 classic. That's why I was planning to sell my 30 in Damier band because I knew I wanted a, a bandolier version. I still have it and guys when I am planning to sell it so once I decided, I will for sure share the link with you guys from, you know, from the page I w want to sell it. There you see the, 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 you know, the difference. And just to show you that, you know, I also have the 25 in on-print. And I um, took measures yesterday already from both of them and both are the same size to me. I don't see a big difference. You, you see here the dif I mean, they are, they have the same size. In my uh, opinion, maybe when I am looking the vid the video, then I see some difference. But here on the screen, for me, it looks really the same. And as I mentioned, I took the measures. The only thing, of course, this bag, the opening, the mouth, it's much bigger, since you can open it all the way here and all the way here you see so when you open the back of course you have the, the opening it's much bigger and and here you are definitely limited definitely you know it's only like this but you get used to it anyway and yeah so also shortly or quickly I just want to show you the trebi because yesterday I was super wondering if, you know, the Trevi PM looks kind of uh, big enough, I would say, but the inside, in the end, it's not so big as we think. Because of the mouth also, it's also a bit limited, and also the shape. I mean, the back is big here, and uh, the size from here to here is 35 centimeters, so you can compare it from here you can compare it with the speedy 35 but then here and uh, up it goes it it, it 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 became thinner you know and then obviously it is smaller here so I just want to show you how the things inside how they look the same item you know because in the end I can in the end even though the back has 35 centimeters on the bottom I can compare it more um, with the with the speedy speedy twenty uh, speedy thirty. Let me show you shortly some modeling shots before I switch my items. Let me show you. You know, you see the 
the science comparison. Speedy 30, Trevi PM. The Trevi PM has a bigger handle, so you could carry the bag, you know, by, uh, by elbow, but also uh, by shoulder, and with the strap anyway, by shoulder. Here you go, this is the 30. Oui. <laughs> oui. So. And here the Trevi. And the Trevi could also be used by shoulder. There you go. So let's um, switch quickly the things from the size 30 speedy to the Trevi PM. Again, a quick. There you go. So, I hope this video is uh, good enough since I'm really in a rush, but I just want to get this done. So, here my cosmetic pochette. There you go. And again, my agenda in the PM size. And the interior of the Trevi is um, the microfiber. Here is the mini pochette, which you also could attach to the D ring inside the Trevi, which, yes, we have a D ring. And then I have here the um, card holder. I'll put the card holder inside of the pocket, which we have there, as you can see. Then let's put the Emily wallet. Yeah, I already feel like the back gets, you know, gets. We. <laughs> oui. There you go. Everything is in place as well. And then here, my hand cream, my toothbrush pouch, my prescription glasses, my coin purse, which I use to store my. Um, charger, mobile charger, my umbrella, my mobile phone just on the top. Then here I have, you know, my mints. I put one of them inside the smaller pocket, which used to be a cell phone pocket. And then this one, let's put it here in one of the. So again, here the mouth opening, and this one. It's also pretty big, but limited compared to the Speedy 30. Let me show you how they look inside. So I definitely had more space in the Speedy 30. Definitely. I still have space on top, you know, to put something inside. But um, the Speedy 30 has uh, more space. But that's because this is more a bulky, um, a boxer bag. It looks so, like, yeah, you know, it's higher or it's the same height, but then here you have more space compared to this one, you know. There you go, guys. So this is just a comparison between the Trevi and uh, Trevi PM and the Speedy 30. And now let me quickly, quickly, quickly put things again inside the 25 and show you again. There you go. my umbrella, prescription glasses, my card holder, my coin purse, my two, my two of the mints, and that's everything, this one is empty as you can see. Beautiful bag anyway, I love this bag. And here again, the th 25. 
and stay space actually here on top but I would not feel it more because the back could get really really heavy but as I said perfect amount um, for everyday use or perfect um, here again here again by as a crossbody bag. I'm super enjoying this bag and I'm so grateful like I was able to get it and I am also I mean super happy that people could do so many beautiful and good reviews uh, on YouTube also Shabby, I, I guess she's called Shabby. I will put her link also down below. She did also a wonderful review on her, or no, it, it was a What's in My Bag and a short close up um, of her Speedy 25 uh, bandoulier in Damia Ben. And yeah, as I said, um, Jerusha Couture did a wonderful, um, just a haul, or she showed the bag she got on her during her trip. BJ Taylor with her addiction, crossbody bag addiction. I guess this one is really the perfect crossbody bag. Um, I believe you would love it. Also Shanti has her version, but in the monogram, like uh, Shanti and also Bobby has the one in the monogram. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. It seems like we are all a bit kind of um, crossbody addicted or um, Speedy 25, bandoulier addicted. <laughs> Yeah, however, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I hope it's not too long. I hope it was clear. If not, please don't hesitate. Let me know in the comments below. Ask me if you have any questions. And I'll come soon back um, with the promised comparison uh, video between, you know, the Farid PM I got and the Eva Clutch. So many of you guys asked me to compare these both pochettes. I will do that uh, since both are almost the same size so let's see um, which one looks um, better for you okay guys I wish you all a good day thank you so much for watching and see you soon bye bye